I'm sure most people at some point in life have been in a shop but you basically just look at things you can't afford. Well, that's pretty much exactly what we're going to do today, but in Skyblock. But when we talk about expensive items, really there's two types of expensive. We've got items like the Giant Sword, Terminator, and Hyperion. Like These are incredibly expensive items, but in a way, you can sort of understand the figures you're looking at. And then you have other items like extremely rare dyed armor. Armor sets like these that are notorious for being sold for billions and billions of coins. And in reality, numbers that we really don't understand properly. Items like a black Necron chestplate. And I'm not talking about a like a pure black dyed Necron chestplate. I'm talking about an actual black Necron chestplate. Back in the day, it was rumoured that Refraction was offered over 32 billion coins just for his Necron chestplate. Right, 32 billion, not million, billion. Like, how do you even how do you even comprehend that number? Now looking at the price of a true black Necron chestplate at the moment. I, can, I literally cannot imagine how he would feel. Now, this price has dropped 30 billion coins. I'd honestly probably just... Um... And then we've got other items like this, the Game Annihilator. So rare, it's encapsulated in, um, well, a glass enclosure on a museum on someone's island. Now, this is indeed Time Deal's museum. Also, items like the Game Breaker, the Dead Bush of Love, then the Creative Mind, the Doctor Space Helmet, the Clune Bow, and also other items like the Asian Elevator, the Pioneer Pickaxe, the French Bread. A lot of these items were awarded to people for basically testing dungeons, and crystal hollows, and all that good stuff in the alpha. Items that only a handful of people have and therefore are extremely rare. When items are extremely rare, they're all, I mean, some of these are almost priceless. I mean, obviously the seller completely dictates the price. Like, you name a price, I mean, that, that's the price people are gonna have to pay. You've not really got many other options. It's not like you can go to any other person and, and buy it off them. Going back to the game annihilator, I mean, th this item it isn't even, it's not even, it's not got a name on it. The fact that he doesn't have a name on it, it's not to anyone, makes it rare on a different scale. Like, quite literally priceless. Like, this item right here, Lesser Orb of Healing, Technoblade. Like, if someone was to sell this, how much, like, how much could they sell it for? So I don't think there's actually a limit. Now, something that's rumoured to be the rarest item on the game is the Builder's Clay. There was two ways to obtain it. Baidusis himself visiting the player's island. If he thought the island was well built, he would give one for free. And I think by the looks of it, Deuces is a former admin. And in fact, on Skycrypt, you can see he's got it here, the Builder's Clay. Item valued at 30 billion coins. It could be more, to be honest, because I think it is one of one. Okay, now the Sub-Zero Wisp Pet. Okay, very few people actually have this, and there's none at all in the auction house. Now, it's very easy to say that it's definitely one of the rarest and most expensive pets on the game, bar none. So, I touched on dyed armor earlier in the video, and as you can see, I'm sure everyone will have noticed, recently there's been a lot of dyed pieces popping up here and there. And when I say recently, probably in the last six months or so. And that's, of course, with the introduction of dyes themselves. Now, dyes can be obtained from all different walks of life through Skyblock, and I guess, for some people's annoyance, even through the community shop. Like, you can literally buy pure white and pure black dye from the community shop for bits. Now, we all know that a dyed black piece of Necron armor is never going to sell for the same amount of an actual proper black piece of Necron armor from back in the day, but it's definitely drove the prices down. But rather than talking about dyed armor, how about the dyes themselves? Well, dyes like the livid dye or the pure blue dye are clearly unobtainable. So we, we can't really give a price or even speculate for, for how much these could be worth. Now the wild strawberry is technically the rarest at 1 in 150 million chance of actually dropping this dye when you harvest crops. But at the same time when you harvest crops obviously you're doing that, well you can harvest a lot of crops at once. So in theory you don't actually have that small of a chance even though it is still very improbable one in 150 mil and i guess just because so many people harvest so many crops is the reason why it's not i mean 75 mil don't get me wrong is still a lot of coins for a die but in the grand scheme of things it's not really that expensive and when you actually take a look through all the dyes in the auction house you'll see that there isn't actually that many obviously dyes are very improbable to get but at the same time, people play a lot of Skyblock. For instance, there is one of this Carmine die on the auction house at 1 billion coins. Now there's one on the auction house at 1 billion coins, and I really wouldn't expect this to be too easy to sell. But when you actually take a look through the whole list of dies that there actually are, there's way more than that's on the auction house. So there's 24 dies that are currently obtainable, and there's only 10 different dies that are listed on the auction house, which, well, where are the other 14? For instance, here we have the Nyanza die. Probably butchered that so badly. It's a 1 in 2 million drop from Sneaky Creepers. I mean, that's the reason why there isn't any AH. I mean, 1 in 2 million is rare, but it's not that rare. Same again here, the Emerald die. 
you've got, well, a 1 in 8 million chance from mining emeralds. Realistically, that's going to be very rare because who actually mines emeralds? And even then, you've got a 1 in 8 million chance. And for instance, this emerald die, to be honest, I mean, I think it looks really cool. I think it's probably one of the better looking dies, in my opinion. And there aren't any on the AH. Like, who knows how much that could actually sell for? The issue is with lots of rare and potentially expensive items is the fact that a lot of the time, the owner's just not willing to sell it. Some people, understandably, would prefer to have the money than most of the time a useless item that just has... I guess, value. On the other hand, I guess other people would prefer to display a very expensive and sought-after item that other people can't get just because of its price. A prime example would be the Doctor Space Helmet. Now, obviously, it's a wearable item, so you can wear it on your head. It's technically a helmet. But as you can see, completely clean right here, it doesn't have any use at all other than just look very cool. If you see someone wearing a Doctor Space Helmet, you know they've got coins. I actually never got to get my hands on one of them for myself, which I'm really annoyed about considering that. I mean, if I really wanted one right now, I'd have to buy the cheapest from the AH, which is 1.8 billion coins, and it wouldn't even see say to my name. Like, who is Optimus0811? I don't know. But I guess that's just what makes it so expensive. It's so sought after. Um, and I am jealous of people who, who have got one with the name on. Also, why would you do this? Like, is, are you actually going to go into a, a Floor 6 rock in this? Although it will be a pretty cool title for a video. I hypermaxed a Doctor Space Helmet. Anyway, moving on. And I feel like it'd be silly not to look at pet skins. But not so much the most recent pet skins because, well... I mean, 5,000, 5,000, 7,500. You know, it's quite high volumes, 10,000. But back in the day when they were released 300 or 600 or 250, I mean... There's a very good reason why these sheepskins are very expensive. Like from the original sheepskins that were released, there's a blue one listed for a billion coins and a pink one listed for one and a half billion coins. In terms of this black sheepskin, I don't know. I wouldn't really even want to speculate how much this is worth. Even rock skins. A cool rock skin is 500 million. An embarrassed rock skin is 850 mil. And a smiling rock skin is 1.4 billion. For a rock, for a rock skin. Now, of course, a person that will buy that skin isn't going to apply it to a rock. I would assume they're either a collector or they're going to try and flip it. So I guess in this case, what would have initially been intended for people to actually apply to a rock pet, because back in the day, I guess people used rock pets back in 2020, um, has now become a ridiculously expensive collector's item. It is strange the way things work. Now, I'm sure there's way, way more extremely rare and therefore expensive items in the game. It's inevitable, glitches have happened, things have changed, which has left items unchanged, and I guess that makes them rare. Let me know in the comments if you have any extremely rare items, or items that you think may be extremely rare. It will be pretty interesting to see. Anyway, that just about wraps up today's video. I hope you all have enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one.